Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan here and it's been a while since I made a fitness related video, especially with my recent vlog, but I wanted to make this video because I got a new client and uh, kind of showing him some lifts and techniques and one of the cool things that I learned about powerlifting, teaching him how to squat more weight, is the breath, right? So you get on the bar, you create pressure, and, and this is pretty cool if you're learning how to squat more and you want to squat more weight. And I bet you already know this tip, you know this trick, you probably already do it if you're squatting well over 400 pounds already. But the biggest trouble that I, I've noticed with most people when they're trying to squat, they don't, they don't get tight enough. I'm sure you've heard that, it's old news, right? But the problem is, it's really more about creating pressure, you know, the nuanced way of getting under the bar. And what I mean by that is, you get under the bar, and I say there's 300 pounds on the rack, and you can squat, you know, it's like 90%, whatever you have. And you push your traps into the bar, right? Um, and you stand up with it. So the thing is, is how do you stand up with it? And I think I've said this in other videos, but I want to bring it up now because it's exciting to me right now. Is that what you do is you put pressure, let's say there's 225 pounds on the bar, and you pressurize about 100. You push up with 100 pounds of force from your back, right? And then... You take a breath in to create pressure. What's funny, what happened to me when I was teaching him this or just showing it to, to my client was the moment I took my breath in, the bar came off the rack, which is, I don't know if any of you, if you have experienced this, please let me know. Um, this is like, these are the little things why I love powerlifting, even though I don't powerlift anymore really, but I love these nuanced things about the body. I got under the bar, pressed my back into the bar, creating pressure, finding my, getting my hips underneath in the right spot. Take a deep breath in and the bar comes off the rack, right? Sorry for the crying, but the bar comes off the rack because I've pressurized my body. I've created all this, I fill my entire body with oxygen to create pressure so that when I squat, oh my God, in the garage, it's distracting. So when I squat, what happens is, or when I get the point on my back, I take a breath in, what happens is the bar essentially there, essentially, I create enough pressure to unrack the bar without actually standing up, you know, uh, and that's pretty cool. You know, like I, I, I was talking to him and I was telling my clients, like, you know what? Imagine those guys, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, Eric Lillibridge, I'm thinking of Ed Cohn, I'm thinking of Mark Bell or, you know, Dan Green, got big powerlifters, and I'm thinking to myself, how much pressure in their breath do they have to unrack the bar? I bet you it's like 400 pounds, right? Or 500 pounds. Just getting their back on the bar, taking a breath in, just with their breath alone and that pressure. So maybe 200 pounds of pressure from their back with another breath in. It's probably 300 or 400 pounds of pressure just to get the bar off the rack. I mean, or of pressure from the breath. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, if you're still interested in lifting and you're still hanging around on my channel, please leave a comment. I'm excited about this because it's just... If these little small, this is the thing I love about lifting, uh, why I remember now is it's just those small nuances, those small discoveries that you get in your own training. Sure, you watch my videos, you watch other videos, you watch other trainers, clients, experts, world-renowned powerlifters, not me, of course, other people. But you learn these things and you're just like, that's so cool, and you just get excited, and I'm, I'm excited. I just wanted to share this quick moment with you. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.